Back in 2021, there was a big celebration as Nashville officially renamed Fifth Avenue after civil rights pioneer Representative John Lewis. Lewis spent some of his formative years in Nashville, attending college and organizing Nashville's lunch counter sit-ins. But now, only two years later, one state lawmaker proposes to rename a portion of John Lewis Way after another politician, former President Donald Trump. Good evening, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston. And I'm Vicki Yates. News Channel 5's Chris Davis shows us how this move, beyond offending many Nashvillians, could have some unintended consequences. There have been two times Metro Councilwoman Zolfan Sawara has stood on the street and felt like her words just weren't enough. We want the world to know that he got his thoughts here. There was July 2021 when Nashville officially dedicated the road after a civil rights pioneer that spent his college years right here. But now is for be known as Representative John Lewis Way. And there was this moment. It, it is, I mean, it's, 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 it's. When she learned there was an effort to rename a portion of it after former President Donald Trump. I think it's spiteful. It is intentional. Representative Paul Sherrill's bill would rename a quarter mile stretch of the street that includes the Cordell Hall Legislative Office building after the 45th president. Believe me, on November 8th, they heard your voice. His only connection to the road that we can determine was a 2017 address at Municipal Auditorium. And we will make America great again. It's so uncalled for, all because some of them don't want a street named after a black man on their business address. Is this where we are? If the symbolism of the move didn't upset Suara, it was also the timing. And to do it in Black History Month is just horrible. But in Tennessee, there's actually a law against renaming streets named after historical figures. So if the law passed, it means cities like Forest Hills could rename streets like these. Jefferson Davis has nothing to do with the state of Tennessee. This neighborhood in Forest Hills has been fighting the Tennessee Historical Commission to change the name of six streets that herald figures from the Confederacy. But if Representative Sherrill's bill passes, streets would no longer be protected by the Historical Commission. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Forest Hills aside, the councilwoman still wants to fight the bill because speaking out, in her estimation, is the John Lewis way. Lewis and his folks were not allowed to sit at the lunch counter sittings. They fought so that my daughter would not have to face this kind of thing. And then for somebody to now say black man cannot be named on the street, it's exactly what he fought for. And we're right back here. Chris Davis, News Channel 5. We asked the bill's sponsor, Representative Paul Sherrill, who represents District 43, to comment on this story, but we haven't heard back.